Valorant has a new option called experimental sharpening. First thing you need to know is that it doesn't work, unless you turn on Bloom as well. Yeah, I know that's weird, but that's how they designed it. Okay, so let's see, what does experimental sharpening actually do? On low settings, we see a very noticeable sharpening of textures and edges, making objects pop more, everything is more in focus, blacks are deeper and more pronounced. On max settings, we see the exact same effect. The game has never looked so good. Let's have a look and see if enemy agents pop out as well. Up close, I think they do pop out more, but so does everything else. I mean, wow, that fence up there looks much better. I wouldn't even notice it otherwise. From a further distance, the enemy agent looks sharper and more vibrant, much like the entire environment. Alright, so experimental sharpening is a cool effect, but by the end of this video I'll show you why you shouldn't be using it and I'd like to propose an alternative solution that is far better in every way. There is three major problems with experimental sharpening. First, Riot has stated that they will be removing this feature on their next update. This would be a big deal, but it isn't because the alternative solution will still work. The second problem with experimental sharpening is that there is a performance hit when using this setting. How much FPS you lose depends on your PC, as well as the amount of enemies and abilities being rendered. In this scenario here, we see an FPS drop 10% on maxed settings. This is a good moment to compare it to my alternative solution, which barely has an FPS drop in comparison. Not only does it have less impact on your FPS, but it also looks better. Alright, so what is this miracle alternative? Well, you'll find it in NVIDIA control panel. Under manage 3D settings, we go to program settings. Here we will need to click add and find Valorant. Now the first setting we see available here is called image sharpening, which is exactly what experimental sharpening is as well. But this one is far superior. That's because you can control how much or how little of this effect you'd like to add to the game. If you want it to look exactly the same as experimental sharpening, you'll need to set it to about 3 quarters of the way. But I like the way it looks at full, which is how you saw it in the previous FPS comparison. Now we also have ignore film grain. You'd think if you set this to zero, you'd have zero film grain. But it actually works backwards. This is actually a filter that is added to remove the film grain created by sharpening. And the more of it you add, the more film grain it removes. We don't want any film grain noise, so we will set this to max. Another alternative that is also better than Valorant's experimental sharpening setting is simply going through the settings on your monitor and increasing the sharpness. The big downside to this is that it won't just be for Valorant, it'll affect everything that your monitor displays. Now if you remember, I mentioned there is three big problems with sharpening. The third problem has to do with your monitor's response time. If your monitor isn't a 1 to 2 millisecond monitor, you might get ghosting from adding the sharpness effect. This is because those sharp edges require the pixels on your monitor to change color more abruptly to maintain the sharpness effect during motion. To make matters even worse, the sharpening effect also makes black colors even darker, which takes longer for the pixel on your monitor to achieve. Will your monitor have ghosting due to sharpness? Well, it depends on which monitor you have and the settings you run your monitor at. But for simplicity's sake, if it's a 1 to 2 millisecond monitor, you very likely won't notice any ghosting. I have other videos here on increasing performance and FPS in Valorant and explaining other commonly mistaken settings such as improved clarity that you can check out. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would help. If you hit that sub button, that would be amazing and it will help me keep making these videos. Thank you and happy fragging.